pretty, pretty cool. He looks badass, his auto attack animation is badass, and his playstyle is so unique. It is somewhat relatable to Zed, I guess, in terms of just being able to place down these soldiers, and then you can, you know, interact with them in certain ways, you can, like, dash to them and stuff, which is kind of similar to Zed, but in terms of actual playstyle, like the damage you can do and stuff like that, it is completely opposite. His damage is okay, but it's not bursty whatsoever, but it is quite long range and somewhat annoying to deal with. So this is my second game with him and hopefully I can play him better than I played the first game and uh, show you guys what he's made out of. So his passive gives him, uh, passively, 2% attack speed for every 1% CDR. Apparently I have 10 right now. Apparently. Yeah, it makes sense, okay. And then, uh, whenever a turret is dead, so like whenever the shot or like is destroyed rather, you know how it leaves the rubble? You can right click on that and you have about a 3 minute cooldown on this. And you can right click on it and make it like a turret on your side, which actually is really strong and it can quite honestly turn around a whole team fight if you're fighting around that area. So really, really um, strategic placement and timing and all that cool stuff. His W is what makes the soldiers, they, they pretty much attack for you, you have to right click to attack. Um, and instead of this guy attacking, if they're within range, that soldier attack. So you gotta level that up first, you have no choice. I'll use one right now. It's pretty cool. Yeah, check it out. Bam. And then it has like, it pierces through so it'll hit everything within that like, I don't know, I guess, area, if you will. Or that line. Okay, so it's gonna be Azur versus Azur, okay. So I'll attack that, I'll attack that. His Q pretty much makes all soldiers that are alive dash like through. It, it, they pretty much just dash through quite simply. And uh, to a certain location and deal damage. It's good because it's pretty much the only way you can quite honestly change their positioning and make them have better like, you know, positioning overall. Oh, I could have auto-attacked them there, see? So you can see a small little faint circle around um, around the soldier. Okay, so I'm gonna get my Q now. There, see, look at that. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So he has it now too, so be careful, yeah, see? Gotta be a little careful with that. So what I wanna wait is, I wanna do, or rather what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till I can have two soldiers on. I'm gonna place them both down and both of them charge at him and do damage. That'll be pretty cool. Let's watch it. Okay, let's do it up. Alright. Alright, alright. Bam. Bam. Oh, I see. I, I canceled that attack animation. I need to back before I actually die here. Getting a little crazy here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to do that. Okay, good. He almost died himself, though. Hmm. Pop my last HP pot here. I love my uh, level up my W. I feel like you should be leveling up his W. I think it's better. This guy's actually out of man. That's surprising already. So that's like the last thing he can do there. Right, let me see if I can. Why did it go there? Okay, so my Blitzcrank is here for the gank. Let's see if we can do anything about that. Oops. Oh, that dance though. So this guy, yeah, let's try his dance. the last. Pretty cool. Alright. So he is out of men. Oh, nice shot, nice shot. Oh, that auto attack missed. Okay, so if they walk out of range, apparently the auto attack will pretty much cancel. Interesting. So if you attack something that's out of range of the soldier, then your main guy's auto attack will go through, which I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so he's still pretty low on mana. I really want to see if I can. Got him! Oh, worth! Oh my god, that was so worth. I call worth on that, so that's all good. So I want to get another one of these. So CDR is actually not bad on him, so what I'm going to do is actually pick up both of these. Mana regen is always good. Actually, you know what? No. I have enough mana regen with two Dorans. I want to get this instead. Some magic resistance against this guy could be pretty good. And, um... His ultimate? Okay, his E is you dash to a soldier, which can be really good, so you can place it down, like, charge it away somewhere, whether it's defensively or offensively, deal damage, and then dash to it. As you're dashing, anything you hit, uh, damaging, yeah, enemies hit for 60 magic damage and knock them off for 0.5 seconds. If Azure hits an enemy champion, I actually get a shield, which is pretty good. I'm getting some, that was, getting some FPS drops over here. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and level up my W. I'll attack that. I'll attack that. Oh man, this guy's just going ham on that summoning game. Okay. 
We have like, they're both like on top of each other right now. 